Ariel Burton has done something very cool and they've created a pulse laser to create 3D images in the air that you can view in the daytime even. Let's take a look. Ariel Burton has demonstrated an aerial 3D display which can project text and images in mid-air. The images are constructed by firing a 1 kHz infrared pulse laser into a 3D scanner which reflects and focuses the pulses of the laser to specific points in the air. The molecules at that point are ionized and the energy is released as photons. Ariel Burton believes that using this technology in emergencies will aid communication after a disaster, letting people know where to evacuate or obtain food and emergency supplies. As well as prioritizing transportability, Ariel Burton plans to market the display overseas to increase recognition of this technology. Those photons. The future! Whoa. <laughs> No, you know what? I want someone to project a little um, exclamation point above my head because I'm a quest giver. I play too many video games. Uh, uh, little hello. So we're gonna have a little callers that are just you know have like our whatever we're feeling at the moment. You know. Oh God. It's like, so am I question mark? Am I exclamation point? Or am I feeling sad and I have a little rain cloud over my head? Oh my God. This I live in a video game now. For visibility. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to get a bit technical. Of it. I my I was. The word photon was coming out of my mouth, and then the hat blew up. <laughs> photons. They're ionizing photons. Yeah, so, so it cool. does need to constantly be complete, uh, completely ionizing consistently. Uh, but it is rather interesting and novel. It looks like fairy dust, okay? It, Let's, it does. There's butterflies. It's gorgeous, hey. but it can be used for emergency purposes. You could do a scoreboard. You could look at displays in direct sunlight. Yeah, but you know what they're going to do with it, exactly. right? They're, they're going to advertise. Yes. <laughs> it's got it's skywriting. It, there's the things that fly, the banners that fly over the beach. No, this is, that's what they're going to use it it's, for. They're going to say, not, sail at the gap. It's not going to say exit. It's going to say buy now. Yeah. All right. You look really crazy right now. I, know. I love wow. what it's adding to this. Um, yeah, you're probably right. I mean, money does typically drive emerging technology. Uh, it doesn't tip it always drives emerging technology so it'll probably go that way I do imagine uh, I, I think you can project this onto like water I feel oh. like Disney is gonna Disney's have a gonna heyday with this oh yeah they're gonna make a new show probably in the middle of the day <laughs> world of color daytime Wow. Uh, but it is, gonna be it is very cool. It's going to be pixies everywhere. It's just going to be pixie dust. Navi. I want Navi yeah. to follow me. Seriously, I play too many video games. This is, uh, uh, so, so one, first of all, this is amazing because this is literally using like micro technology in a way that none of us probably ever thought of before, but knew it was coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I just, I seriously didn't think I would see something like this in my lifetime. And here I am looking at like. Infrared pulse lasers. Like ionizing photons and specifically making 3D images that I could walk around and it, and it just is constantly changing perspective. Like that's even one step closer to having like um, communication done with like hollow fields or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like if Princess I want. Leia, just. Well, she's a little more complicated. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, than but a they're saying maybe mar maybe Arrow is pointing to safe areas in, a, in an emergency or, or in dangerous situations. <laughs> or hey, fifty percent <laughs> off all khakis today. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. Uh, uh, but it is very cool, and I, I would like to see what they do with it. Though I do predict it will be. It's a yeah. one kilohertz. So that's another thing too. Is is that that's adding more theoretically more airwaves. Right. into the system as well too for a pretty much completely saturated you know ionosphere at the mm -hmm. moment you know we're putting more bandwidth out there by utilizing this technology as well do you so. foresee negative uh, repercussions to that? There's only so many numbers on the wavelength scale. Yeah. You so know? We, sh we wouldn't have like those hats like she said with the exclamation points but maybe here and there. Or the point is, is like she's got an exclamation point and I've got a question mark, and once we get too close to each other, like, you know. The world will explode. <laughs> and a black hole will form. So. <laughs> or it'll be distorted. You right. know? <laughs> or, yeah, or our imagery will be distorted One because our Wi Fi is competing oh. or whatever. You know? The point is, is that it's, it's, that's the only like, negative repercussion I can see in this, is that it just adds more mm -hmm. uh, information into, the, into our currently very. Um, saturated uh, wavelength between radio waves, microwaves, and stuff like this. It's just going to get, it's already saturated. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I think we only have just a little bit now from Ariel Burton. It isn't, right. obviously, is still emerging. Uh, there are many uses that we could have for this 3D laser photon display. It looks incredible. What would you see uh, it being used for in the future? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.